Hi. Today's muscle is one that many people overlook. The gastrocnemius. Wow, you really jumped on in there to help. Of course, we're a team, right? Two heads are better than one, and we always lift each other up. And together, we create the shape of our show. OMG, we are just like the gastrocnemius. <laughs> or Wonder Woman. Power. Great. Wisdom. Wonder. Wonder. Let's go take a look at the gastrocnemius. Did you know gastrocnemius means the stomach or belly of the leg? Sometimes called the tiptoe muscle, the gastroc gives the calf its shape and is the largest muscle below the knee. Have you ever noticed that most images of gods, superheroes, and bodybuilders are shown with well-defined gastrocs? Strong calves are important. However, a weak or tight gastrocnemius can also lead to an injury of your Achilles tendon or plantar fasciitis. A dysfunctional gastrocnemius may be due to an entrapment of the tibial nerve, which innervates the gastroc. The gastroc is commonly injured in sports that require quick acceleration from a stationary position and quick halts in movement, like tennis, jumping, or hill running. The calves are also prone to charley horses, an intense spasm or cramping, usually in an overworked or underfueled gastrocnemius. Now, let's draw this muscle. Remember, you can print out a skeleton to draw along with us. Speaking of super powerful gastrocs, did you know that the kangaroo can jump almost 10 feet in the air and it can hop at up to 38 miles per hour? Wow, our gastrocs would be so jealous. Totally. Well, let's figure out where our gastrocs attach and how they move. Sure. Here I have drawn the femur, fibula, tibia, calcaneus, and here's the Achilles tendon. The gastrocnemius has two heads, a medial and a lateral head. Which means that there are two proximal attachments. Right. Okay, let's look at the proximal connections. First, we'll take a look at the medial head. It attaches to the popliteal surface of the femur above the medial condyle, while the lateral head attaches to the lateral condyle and posterior surface of the femur. The distal connection is at the posterior surface of the calcaneus via the tenocalcaneus, which you probably know as the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon attaches the gastroc muscle to the bone at the calcaneus tuberosity on the calcaneus. Remember, if your gastrocs are too tight, it can lead to plantar fasciitis, which can become an Achilles heel or vulnerability. Okay, I'm gonna draw my bow and arrow now. I mean my gastrocnemius. As Teresia connects the proximal and distal connections, you can see that the gastrocnemius crosses two joints, the knee and the ankle. You can see why it's a major propelling force in walking and running. The gastroc shares its distal connection with the plantaris and the soleus. These three muscles are sometimes known as the triceps surae. Jessica, would you like to show where the gastrocnemius is on my leg? I'd love to. Hey, nice calves, girl. Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at where this muscle lives on Teresia. As you can see, we have the blue tape here for the Achilles tendon, and then to find the proximal attachment points, which I'm going to mark with these pink dots here, I'm gonna have Teresia bend her knee, and we're gonna look first for the medial connection point, which is right about there at the popliteal surface of the femur above the medial condyle. And then we'll go for the lateral connection point, which is right there at the posterior surface of the femur on the lateral condyle. Both heads of the muscle connect down into the Achilles tendon, which then connects down to our distal connection point at the center of the calcaneus. So now I'm going to use this blue tape to connect the fibers of Teresia's gastrocnemius. And there it is, Teresia's gastrocnemius. Looks pretty and powerful. It sure does. So let's take a look at the actions of the gastrocnemius. If you bring these attachment points together in a non-weight bearing leg, the gastrocnemius will assist in flexing the knee and plantar flexing the foot via the Achilles tendon. When standing on her leg, Teresia's gastrocnemius will raise her heel, lifting her up onto her toes, or create a propelling force in walking. That's the push-off part. Yes. So let's recap the actions of the gastrocnemius. 
It plantar flexes the foot at the ankle, and in an open chain, it assists in knee flexion. It also, in a closed chain, lifts the heel up and propels you forward in walking. <laughs> They raise me up on tiptoe so I can see. They lift me up and help me bend my knees. They have two heads and attach to the Achilles. The gastrocnemius powers my skip for me. The gastrocnemius lets me run so free. Our work here is done and we are going out on the town. Our gas rocks look so good in our heels. Yes, they are both powerful and graceful. Bringing us to wisdom and wonder. Tune in next time for another muscle. Taxi!